Here's our homemade Spider-Man. Not the amazing Spider-Man, the regular Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire. And here's how we made it. The costume on this is pretty easy. It's just a purple long sleeve shirt. And then I did paint the trim a little bit on the sleeves and around the neck. And then to prepare for the intense role of Tobey Maguire, I shaved. For a lot of the live action shots, we went back to the rooftop where we shot our homemade matrix. It's a great location, it's got some cool air conditioning ducts, and there's mountains in the background, but eh, don't pay attention to those. The opening shot has Peter Parker landing on the roof. We didn't know how to get the camera off of the front of the roof like that, so it's just a fake ledge. It's actually just cardboard with red spray paint. And we just used a little exercise trampoline where I jump as high as I can and I land. <laughs> it's a little, a little wacky on that one. There's a handful of shots with that fake ledge. There's a few shots that are just close-ups on the roof where I'm holding some rope. There is one shot though where the web shoots out of his wrist for the first time, and we shot that in reverse. So my web is now uh, going through my sleeve, down to a hook, and then that way so Ben can yank on it so it's going to pull into my sleeve, and then we play it in reverse so it looks like it's coming out. So I had to remember all the actions from shooting it and being surprised, then backwards to looking like uh, it's not going to work. For the intro shot where I'm introducing the scene, I'm supposed to be running. I'm actually just running in a circle around the camera, so that way it looks like I'm just running continuously. And it looks like I'm going in a straight line, but I'm actually just running circles. That for high acting. Wow. There's one shot where Peter Parker jumps up onto the ledge for the first time, and instead of doing that on a real ledge on the real roof, we just did it on my roof at my house. We tied the rope across onto the telephone pole on just one of the rungs and just pulled it really tight so I could just climb up on my roof pretty safe, get up on the top like that, and the rope is going straight. So I'm up on the roof, and this is not the strangest thing that the neighbors have seen. We got Ben over there pulling on the rope to keep it nice and tight when I pull on it. And there's John. And then I jump up right here. Uh, it's a little bit more narrow than the ledge he's jumping up on, so it's kind of tricky. There's one section in this scene where there's a lot of quick shots of Peter Parker's feet landing on the roof and then kind of kicking up some dirt and then taking off again. So we did that stuff at the park, and I just actually sat in a swing and sort of swung by, and the camera just zooms in really close to my feet so you can get my feet stepping really fast and then sliding, and then the next shot where it's sliding and then taking off. So I'm actually just swinging by in the swing for that. There is one really funny shot that we noticed where the camera goes way into Tobey Maguire's mouth. And if you pause it and look at that shot, he's literally just standing in front of a wall. There's like not even sky or anything, just a wall behind him. And he opens his mouth and the camera goes close. So we did it in front of a wall. Whoa. <laughs> There's a very specific miniature setup that we did for a lot of the shots looking off of the roof. So you see the whole side of the building, a billboard, street, the crane, everything. So we just made that all small scale to match the size of our Hot Wheels. So it's the front of the building, lots of windows. We've got the top of the actual storefront there. We've got like a laundromat and a couple shops. And then the street in front of that with some cars. Recently, my mom sent me a box of all my cars from when I was a little kid, and they are awesome. These are authentic Dustin cars, and we're just going to fill the streets. Off to the side is the crane, so we just made the crane out of some cardboard and some sticks and have that hanging up really high, and then it's hanging like an air conditioning unit onto the roof, so that's made out of cardboard, up there with some string, and then for the billboard itself, We've never done this before, but we just took stills of the movie itself and pieced together what that billboard actually looks like in Photoshop and printed it at the right size. So we just glued that printout to the building and it looks pretty authentic even though the rest of it's cardboard. And then for the close-ups where our miniature Peter Parker does hit the billboard, it's actually a bigger printout, even larger size, so that he just hits that one area up close. We did a really interesting forced perspective thing where you need to see the hand shoot the web and then it shoots off towards the miniatures. So we thought about using a miniature hand there, but we really wanted to get a real hand with the real rope coming out. So it looks like the building is in the distance, but what's actually happening is the hand goes in front of the camera, almost touches this building, but then we needed the web to pull out, the little string. It actually shoots up past the building into the distance against our blue sky. One, two, three. Two, three, two, three. So this is the big shot where Spider-Man swings from one building to the other. Obviously we're using miniatures made out of cardboards, but something we've never done before is this sort of forced perspective, like, matte painting kind of thing, where we've got the two sides, it's all 3D, but once we get to here, it ends, and then we just have flat pieces that look 3D. For our miniature Peter Parkers, instead of using G.I. Joes this time, which are too big, we used army men, which were a little bit smaller. 
and I just cut the little stands off and kind of bent their arms and glued them in different positions. So we have one that's in one position, kind of for the swinging one. And then, you know the army guy that lays flat on the ground? We used him for the one that hits against the billboard because he was nice and flat. So those two different ones, I just shaved off the pieces I didn't need and I just painted them. All right, so I'm recording the music here, a cappella, like usual, and this is a Danny Elfman score, so it's pretty fun. I used to be a huge Danny Elfman fan. I actually have this Spider-Man soundtrack on CD. I bought it when the movie came out. So once again, I just lay down all the tracks one by one using just my voice. And that's pretty much it. Let me know if you have any other questions on how he made it, and subscribe to Cinefix because we have new episodes every Tuesday, and let us know what other movies you want to see us try. So we'll see you next week. This is for pure fun only, guys. No exercise, you can't even shoot with this, it's pure fun. <laughs> it's so weird like looking at my fingers for so long from a different angle. If you're to be a Spider-Man, you must meditate on a trampoline. Looking right at the camera. Ah, oh, it helps if you get the sound effect. <laughs>